Hi, it's Joel from Degum Electric. We're going over stapling a three wire down a stud. So we're just doing a basic install. This is just a demo wire, so uh, that's why it's short. Um, so we'll just have the first staple uh, at the top there, um, mocking as if it's coming down through a drilled top plate. So we're just using this structure to show you uh, classic two by four and what kind of space you get to work with. So we use our S2 staples. Um, if you use the S1, it's way too tight and you'll get a deficiency and you'll also compress the wire too hard and it'll actually pinch it so that could build up resistance, a heat spot, or even cut the wire. So essentially uh, I'll just add one up here just to show you. Um, so these staples are a little bit loose so I'm just going to go like that just for our demonstration purposes. And uh, so you'll see um, on the 2x4, you only have 32 mil, or you have to be 32 mil away from the side. So basically on a 2x4, you only have almost the center to work with. So you'll see that actually the staples are pushed in the stud a little bit, but you're supposed to stop at these uh, little standoffs here. So that's okay actually, like it's still loose. It's an S2 staple, it's meant for it. So I just got a little curl there because these S2 uh, staples are loose. So we'll put one, um, you don't want to be too far away. So this is actually a little bit close to each other. If you look, it's about two and a half feet, but uh, works out well for our demonstration. So again, nice little staple there. And then we'll uh, be running it, right? So uh, we'll do our, let's say we're putting a box here. We'll do a little uh, courtesy loop. And then our box is going to be mounted here. I can mount a box actually for a second just to show us. So we're, uh, another video you'll see how to mount this box, but I'll just put one here uh, just to show. And uh, we'll mount this here and then uh, show kind of why we do the courtesy loop there. And then we should need that other screw. I'll mount this quickly here. Show mount, proper mounting techniques in the other video, but uh, so we'll show that here. So we'll leave enough length here and uh, we'll just cut it off. So usually we'll come in right here, right? So we'll do our courtesy loop and they'll come in. So we'll leave not lots of extra length. And then, uh, so we got this here. So we'll use our knife and uh, ours are a little bit dull, so it won't uh, notch any of the uh, interior conductors here. So we usually uh, strip it like this. So we'll have finger there, kind of using a bracing. So we'll actually stick it in a little bit and then notch the wire a little bit here. So, so we just got that. So we're clean, no knocks or tears on anything here. So we're good there. So we expose it and just give it a little bit of a cut there. And then that will start our cut. So we'll just rip that back. Usually like to stick this in here and just cut the rest of it. So that's all cut off there. And then I'll use, for a short length like this, I'll just pull it off, the rest of it. So you just literally just pull it back like that. And since it's such a short strip, then I'll just come right off. So that's, sometimes you have issues, I can show you a bit. Some people try to cut it like this. A lot of trades guys will do that. I don't like doing that. It might notch into the casing here when you're coming along. So this way, just a nice little notch, a little bit down, cut it off, and then pull it right off. So that works out well like that. Some people, they don't know how to kind of cut it and they'll cut it on angles. So that one was pretty quick as you saw and nothing's damaged, everything's good here. So we do the courtesy loop and then we'll stick it in our box and then we'll be done. The box install is in another video if you want to click on that to see how we actually install it in the vapor box. But that's how you strip and run a three wire cable.